This video is sponsored by HitPaw Screen Recorder. With HitPaw Screen Recorder, you can record game, screen, webcam, and picture-in-picture -picture videos in simple steps. Recording is as easy as pressing the record button, and the intuitive settings that the software provides can help you get the most out of your recording. You can set a custom frame rate and format, mouse effects, schedule tasks, and by customizing these settings, you can record games at the best quality. Its hardware acceleration feature allows you to record HD gameplay with high performance on your computer. Also, you can capture keyboards and shortcuts during recording at any time. Download HitPaw Screen Recorder from the links in the description below and make sure to use the coupon code for a 30% discount. Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the new Bluetooth menu from Windows 11. So as you guys know, if we access quick settings from the right side of the taskbar, we have this Bluetooth button, but we can only turn on or turn off the Bluetooth devices, the connection that we are getting from a Bluetooth device. If we want to connect to a certain Bluetooth device or do any other settings, we would need to go into the settings app and then search for Bluetooth and other devices. And here we will be able to see all the devices that we can connect to and we can do other settings. Well, Microsoft introduced in the build 22563 a menu that will help us a lot directly from this quick settings menu, which is related to the Bluetooth devices. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable it. And then we're going to talk about it, how you can use it and stuff like that. What is important to know is that Microsoft added this after the build 22563 was launched. So this is slowly rolling out to users that are using the latest build from the dev channel. But if you don't have this feature in this video, I'm going to show you how to manually enable it because it is a really, really useful feature. Of course, we're going to use Vive Tool yet again. So a big shout out to the creator of Vive Tool. As I've said before, make sure to go on this link that you're going to have in the article down below in the description. Give his repository a star because this guy created a really, really nice tool that helps us enable these features. So go into this page, make sure to star his repository and then download the latest version, vivetool.zip and then open it with WinRAR or 7-zip or the the default extracting software from Windows 11. A lot of you guys left comments down below in other videos in which I used Vivetool that features that you enable with Vivetool after restart go away. Well, make sure to have the latest version of Vivetool because the creator of Vivetool, Albuquerque, stated in a Twitter post that this was an error or an issue that Vivetool had in previous builds. So on the latest build or on the latest version of Vivetool, you should no longer have this issue. So if you're on WinRAR or other extracting software, just click on extract to and select the system 32 location. So that would be this PC, local disk C, and then Windows, and then scroll out to system 32, select system 32, click on OK. I'm going to replace all because in my case, I already extracted the Vive tool components into system 32. Now, all you need to do is to run two commands in CMD. So just click on the search box, type in here CMD, right click on CMD, and then click on run as administrator. As I've said, in CMD, you're going to have to paste in two commands. The first one is this one, press enter, and the second one is is this one, press enter. These two commands will be in the article down below in the description. So get them from there, copy and paste. You should re receive this message, successfully set feature configuration, and then you should be good to go. Now you can do a computer restart or you can restart the Windows Explorer. I've restarted Windows Explorer. And now if I access quick settings, you're gonna see that we have here a new Bluetooth menu. So we have the old button that was used to turn on or turn off Bluetooth devices or connect or disconnect. But we now have this button and if we click on it, we have this menu, this new menu, Bluetooth is off, connect to nearby Bluetooth devices by turning on your Bluetooth using the toggle above. And we have even this button, more Bluetooth settings that will, of course, redirect us to the Bluetooth and devices section in the settings app. Now let's turn on Bluetooth and you're going to see that we have here devices that are not paired and we can connect to any of them. So let's just connect to Galaxy Buds Plus. I'm going to click on it. And as you can see, it is automatically connecting. So as you can see, we have here the new section pair devices with the device that we connected to and also it says that it's connected to voice and music and also the percentage of battery that we are on on this certain device that is really really cool of course down below we have the list of not paired devices and the good thing is that this menu is automatically searching for new Bluetooth devices over and over as you can see from this loading bar up top and of course you can always turn off or turn on Bluetooth devices by switching this slider and you can always get to more Bluetooth settings by clicking on this button. I think this menu is a great new addition to Windows 11. So props to Microsoft for adding this new menu. In my opinion, it is really, really useful because it helps you be a lot faster
browser when connecting to a certain Bluetooth device and it will help you search for a certain Bluetooth device that you are interested in and if you want to connect to headphones you can easily search them and connect to them or if you want to connect to a certain um, watch or something like that you can do that with no issues. I'm looking forward to hearing from me in the comments down below what you think about this new Bluetooth menu in Windows 11 and of course don't forget just extract Vive tool use the, those two commands and if you are on the latest dev channel build 22563 you can have this enabled on your computer as well. This was the video for today if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from Techbase. Until next time, have a nice day.